Hello and welcome back to another episode of What's Jamie Up To? Apologies for the lacking uploads. Um, I've been very busy. Um, we've had a lot of work going on at the house. Uh, we've had new kitchen put in, um, which has taken up a lot of time and a massive upheaval. Anyway, back to the video. So here we have an unboxing video. You can probably tell what it is from the title. This is the first ever 64-bit gaming console that was released in the fifth generation. Um, the Atari Jaguar was released in 1993. Um, you then had the N64, which is probably the most famous 64-bit console. I think that was 96 that was released. Um, and then you had the Sega Saturn as well. I think that was 90... I don't know when it was released, 97? No? I can't remember, you'd have to look it up. Um, anyway, this cost me, believe it or not, this cost me five pounds, five English pounds. Not sure what that is in dollars, probably seven, eight dollars. And I'll tell you how that cost me five pounds. I won this in a raffle and the raffle ticket was a mere five pounds. Um, and I was the winner, happy days. Um, so let's get into it. Trusty Victorinox Swiss champ, Swiss army knife. As many of my long-term subscribers know, I used to unbox absolutely everything. Um, and thank you to all the new subscribers, by the way. Um, it's very much appreciated. You'll have to let me know in the comments what sort of videos you want to see. Um, I've done a lot of sort of old school board games. I've done some video games, allotment videos, just whatever I get up to, really. That's what the channel's about. Um, I have slimmed down my gaming collection, my retro video gaming collection, quite a bit, actually. Just sold my Wii U collection. Um, I wish I hadn't, uh, but you know, kitchen to pay for. Um, and I actually got quite a lot of money for that. Um, I had 90 games out of the 160, 165 in the library. Um, some rare games in there, the rarest one being uh, the Scribble Noughts Australian release. Um, that everyone's after, um, and I had it, and I, I bought it for about ten pounds. It's now worth about one hundred and fifty. Uh, anyway, enough waffling on as always, Jamie. So let's get into this. Very well, very well wrapped, very well packaged. Um, a lot of newspaper. Let's see what sort of newspaper the gentleman reads. Daily Express, a load of rubbish. Right, okay, as you can tell, this is a boxed console. Um, and do you know, I cannot for the life of me remember what it comes with. Um, I think there's a couple of extra games that it comes with. Yeah, here they are here actually, that's nice. So we've had, we have the awesome Legendary Doom. It's been it's in pretty rough shape actually. Um, this game, there's quite a lot of Dooms. Um, looks complete in box. It's got the manual. Yeah, this Doom one, two, and three, and whatever else. Um, I have not played this game for a very, very long time. Jaguar 64 bit. Um, and thanks to the guys from Gaming Off The Grid, um, Wes and Rob, they have just done a video on the Jaguar and they're gonna do a series on the games. Apparently it's not a very good console. Um, it's one of the, well it is the last, I believe the last Atari console uh, with cartridges. Um, and you've got this nice little handle on the top of the cartridge with Atari printed on the back or embossed on the back. 
um, with your cardboard tray. It surprised me actually, there's only 50 games in the library, 50 official games. However, there are, there are a lot of homebrew games for this console. Um, I think there's more homebrew games than the official 50 released games. Um, yeah, so there's one that it comes with. The box is, yeah, pretty, pretty worn. Another game, Theme Park. This feels a bit lighter. I'm not sure if the manual's in here. Um, yeah, Ocean. They made some great games back in the day. I always remember playing like Robocop. Uh, did Batman, did they make a Batman game? I forget now. Um, I'm probably talking on the Spectrum 48K, which was my childhood computer. Um, kids to adults, this looks like, oh, no Atari printed on the back. Is this an official game? I'm not sure. Do you know, I've absolutely no idea. I don't know hardly anything about this console. I love the 2600. And I remember playing the 2600 as a kid at my mate Alan's house. He had a 2600 Junior, not the woody one, the, the black Junior. And we used to love it back in the 80s. So build your very own amusement park. That's in a bit better condition. And now on to the main event, here we go, a boxed, oh there's a nice bit of bubble wrap there, oh that would definitely be kept for packaging, a bought guitar for sale so that may help towards that. So we have the Atari Jaguar 64-bit interactive multimedia system made in the USA, the two Jaguar eyes. Ah, Cybermorph included. This was the packing game. Um, yeah. I think it was kind of like Star Fox. Um, oh, from what I've seen, I've seen a few reviews. Um, I've seen the unboxing, Metal Jesus did one of this as well. Um, John Hancock, he's done this. Ah, and they also did an add-on for the Jaguar, the Jaguar CD. Uh, plugged into the cartridge slot and obviously there's CDs you can play there. Very strange looking controller with like a, a dial sort of pad, like a telephone sort of keypad on there. Interactive electronic entertainment for your home achieved by the power of 64-bit RISC technology. No idea what that is, maybe someone can let me know in the comments below. Rich, vibrant graphics, CD quality, digital stereo sound, and an expandable future you'll never outgrow. The Atari Jaguar will take you into the future of digital home entertainment. 16.8 million colors, wow. They are blowing their own trumpet there, aren't they? Okay, what else have we got on the side? Just the usual stuff. Another great channel that's just unboxed one of these. He unboxed a sealed one. Mad Little Pixel is the name of the channel. That is a great channel. The dude on there is superb. So he unboxed a sealed one of these. Okay, egg box style packaging. The inner, which looks to be absolutely knackered. But for five pounds, I cannot grumble, can I? Ah, yes, Cybermorph is included, which is great. I didn't think it was. That's good news. So I've got three games. Is that three out of 50? Hopefully so. Here is the controller. Uh, that needs a good clean. Um, yeah, let's see how it feels. My hands aren't overly big but it actually feels pretty comfortable. The D-pad is quite shallow. Uh, it's not raised that high, uh, which was that's quite a popular, a popular thing that people don't like really with it. Um, here's the console itself. Uh, 
it's got a bit of a, yeah, it needs a good old clean, doesn't it? Bit of isopropyl alcohol on there. Uh, that'll sort that out, tree. Pretty simple. You know, your on off switch, cartridge port, um, not a lot in the back. Um, power, TV. Do you know, I don't even know if this will work on my TV. Um, yeah. Sunnyvale, California. I think that's why they made the original 2600, the Woodies. Um, you need to check on your 2600. Uh, and it will tell you if it's made there because they made them in a couple of locations. Yeah, that's pretty knackered. But a bit of Atari, not to ruin the planet and use polystyrene. Official power supply, three pin for UK use. Jaguar, Jaguar, however you say it. That's how we say it in England, how I say it. So yeah, pretty straightforward. And your TV aerial. I thought this came with an RF switch. Um, this could be a replacement one. Who knows? Doesn't say Atari on the wiring. Right, okay. So that is the, it is classed as a failed console. That is the failed console, Atari Jaguar. Um, they do fetch a pretty penny, actually. I think eBay, you're probably looking at, with this bundle cost me five pounds, you're probably looking at 250, 300 maybe. You know, if someone wants to pay that, then, you know, they'll let them pay it. However, I am looking at possibly trading this with my good friend, Game Boy Paul. Um, hopefully for a Mega Drive and a load of games. So if you're watching Paul, message me and see if we can strike a deal. Right, that's just a quick video today of the unboxing in 2022 of the Atari Jaguar, the first 64-bit console in the fifth generation. So the next time you guys find yourselves on YouTube, why don't you just have a quick look and see what's Jamie up to? Thanks for watching.